comments that we've been telling you all about are not the first time packages have been used to wreak havoc. One of the most infamous cases actually dates back nearly a hundred years. And there's a good chance you've never even heard about it. Jason Miles joins us with a brief history lesson. They're called the 1919 anarchist bombings, a fascinating case that had ripple effects. Let's begin in April 1919. 36 mail bombs were sent to locations across the U.S., mostly government offices. The packages were disguised as novelty samples. Think things like toys packed in a box. Fortunately, most were intercepted after the initial blast, thanks in part to a mail clerk who set aside some boxes due to insufficient postage. Two months later, in June of 1919, though, eight larger package bombs were detonated at several locations. Politicians, industrialists, business leaders were all targeted. Like the initial bombs, these were tied to, of all things, Italian anarchists. And we have some photos here. This is the home of the sitting U.S. Attorney General at the time, home or site of one of those bomb blasts. His name was A. Mitchell Palmer, this guy, who then became began a campaign to weed out suspected radicals, rounding them up in certain areas and cities across the country. Many of them actually were deported in the unwarranted arrest, the illegal searches and seizures. All of those things became known as Palmer Raids. This is a photo of one of those roundups. Now, fast forward another year to September 1920. Those same radicals or suspected anarchists were pinned for a much more devastating bombing. We're talking in the heart of Wall Street, New York City. Nearly 40 people died. Hundreds of others were injured when a wagon loaded with 100 pounds of dynamite went off near the Chase Bank building that still exists today. In fact, marks left by some flying shrapnel in this explosion can still be seen to this day. Decades later, the Unabomber became a household name thanks to his mail bomb spree. We'll revisit that case coming up at 5. Back to you. All right, Jason, thanks. And of course, we're staying on top of the Austin explosions. Follow us on the KHOU mobile app where we also have a list of suspicious things to look for when you actually get a package and what you should do if you get a suspicious package. Develop